Take a look over here and repeat after me. Today we will. Today we will. Compare and contrast. Compare and contrast. Non-fiction text. Non-fiction text. About the American Revolution. About the American Revolution. Okay, t can you turn one of the lights off for me, Elena? Would you still be able to see it? Okay. All right, so when we talked about the American Revolution, I didn't use this word too often, patriots and loyalists. Um, so we're going to talk about that because that's what our text is about today. And Hunter already knows, but I want you to keep it to yourself for now, okay? I'll sit down. Okay, so taxation. That was a big deal. Nobody brought up the, the taxing part. And that was the whole reason that the colonists were what? The Boston Tea Party. The, the, yeah, that they did the Boston. That's the whole reason they were mad, that they wanted to get away from King George. So in red is the loyalist point of view. The loyalists were the ones who were loyal to the king. They were loyal to the king. What does that mean to be loyal to someone? Loyal is like a character trait. Remember when we talked about character traits? I'm a loyal person. I'm sure most of you are loyal people. What does that mean to be loyal? Jeremiah? To like respect somebody. To respect someone. Okay. Help me add on to that. That's right. What else, Abby? To like never leave their side. Like to never leave their side. So like I know Joshua might have done something really bad that he shouldn't have but I'm going to stay loyal to him because I'm his friend, okay? And I want to be there for him. And I don't want to go against him because I'm loyal to him. So these col some colonists that lived in Great Britain were still loyal to the king. Can you believe that? No. It says the colonists should help pay for Great Britain for the French and Indian War debt. Now, the loyalists thought, okay, we do need to help them pay. We need to pay taxes to help him out um, because they're in debt right now because they were trying to help protect us um, in that war. But then the patriots, who do you think, raise your hand if you think you understand what the patriots were. The loyalists were loyal to the king, and the patriots were what? Christopher? They weren't loyal, they weren't loyal to the king. So the, pa the colonists should not have, the, I mean, the colonists should not have total control over how tax money is spent. So they're saying that they don't think that um, they should even have to pay the taxes. They don't have control over how it's spent. That's not fair. Oh, national security. So the loyalists, they're loyal to the king. They want to stay loyal because Great Britain had the most powerful army in the world at that point. So they wanted to say, okay, well, if we need protection, I'm staying on King George's side because I want to be protected. The colonists um, said they can defeat Great Britain because they had home ground advantage. Um, who watches sports in here? Okay, what does it mean if I, if I play for the Saints and I have home team advantage? What does that mean, Malik? That we're playing where? In my home field. So that means if I'm on the Saints team and I have home team advantage, that we're playing where? Where? Home field. Where? Home field. In my home field. In the Superdome in New Orleans. Very good. Okay? The Patriots, uh, the loyalists say that the Patriots have exaggerated the problems. Raise your hand if you know what it means to exaggerate. Has a friend ever told you a story and you can tell that your friend is exaggerating? Like, they say, oh, I went fishing and I caught the biggest fish. You should have seen it. It was this long. It weighed 100 pounds. And you're kind of like, I don't know about that, right? I think that's a little white lie. So they're saying that the patriots are exaggerating the problem. It's not that bad. We just have to pay taxes. But the colonists repeatedly petitioned the king and parliament to hear their grievances but were either ignored or answered with more British control. Ooh, we talked about these words when we talked about the Bill of Rights. You have the right to petition the government. Oh, I see a few hands up. I see some, like, some of y'all are remembering. Tia, do you know what it means to petition the government? Um, that you could... Okay, that's okay, Tasia. Okay, uh, you're kind of on the right track to petition the government, Faith. To like make not make your law. To petition means to like take something and oh, I lost the word. Like petition and tell someone what you think. Should okay, be. so if I think something should be changed, if I'm petitioning the government, what might I do? What might I do, Avery? Good. So that you did, it can be a law. So there can be a law. Yeah. 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 Yeah
be more people that agree with me. So we can say, all of us think this, and we want you to change it. So if I wanted extra recess, I might say, hey, what do y'all, do y'all want extra recess? Sign this, sign this, and bring it to Ms. Anderson, and she might say, okay, we'll do it. So that's what they're saying right here. They have repeatedly done that, but they did not want to hear their grievances. That was a tough word. We actually, that was in the First Amendment that we close read one time that was tricky, and a lot of us had trouble with it. They didn't want to hear their grievances. So they didn't want to hear their what? What do you think? Try to use context clues to figure out what that might mean. They didn't want to hear their grievances. Their what? Um, no, not agreements. Lily? Complaints. Complaints. Kiss your brain if that's what you're going to say. Awesome. Dumb. They were done. They didn't want to hear their complaints. Okay? And um, Britain has allowed the colonists more rights and privileges than any other nation. So that's why the loyalists are saying, look, they've given us so much. Let's not, let's not stress about this. But the patriots are saying that, um, that their basic rights are being eroded. Eroded, that's a strange word. What do you think that means? Their basic rights are being, what do you think? Out of shell? Lowered or not? Like lowered or not, they're not taking it seriously, right? They're being ended. We don't have any. Very good. So we need to do something about it. So. I just wanted to kind of talk about that and get your minds rethinking about um, about the American Revolution and the Patriots and the Loyalists. So, what we're going to do right now is I'm passing this sheet out to everybody, and you, which should you start off doing with this? The Unreal Strategy. Very good. So when you get it, put your name on it and start with your Unreal Strategy. We're going to read it through the first time together, and then you're going to close read it with a partner. So that's how we're going to do this right now, okay? So everybody get your voices ready. And here we go. Imagine them being on a foreign land, thousands of miles away from your homeland. You are obedient to the King of England in a time of turmoil between King George III and many colonies. Citizens of England began populating the colonies in the mid to late 1600s. This vast expanse of the British Empire was a popular place for people to start a new life. If you supported the crown, you were considered a loyalist. They, stopped for a second. they said they now had to decide whether they're going to fight for the crown, remain neutral, or flee back to Great Britain. What does that mean to remain neutral? Raise your hand if you understand what that means. Thank you. What does that mean to remain neutral? They were either going to fight for the king, so stay on Great Britain's side and fight. They were going to remain neutral or flee back to Great Britain. So to remain neutral means what? Tia? It means to stay there. And do, and do what? Like, if Lily and Tasia were fighting each other, and they wanted me to get involved, and I'm saying, I'm staying neutral, what does that mean? Um, like, kind of staying out of it. I'm not going for your side, and I'm not going for your side. I don't want to be involved. I'm neutral. So they could either do that or flee back to Great Britain. What does that mean, to flee go, back to Britain? Just to go. Very Here's what I want you to do right now. I want you to work with your partner and close read this passage together. Do you have to have the exact same things? No. No, you don't. Yours might look a little bit different. Your connections might be different than your partner's, okay? So go ahead and get started. Braden, go sit next to Joshua. You come sit next to Braden. All right, y'all go ahead and get started. Yep. Foreign. Foreign means that it's a land that's many, many, many miles away from where you are used to living. So it's imagine living on a foreign land thousands of miles away from your home. So a foreign land just means a whole different place. So a foreign land to us would be like if we move to where? Think of a place far away. Like China, maybe? Yeah, so that'd be important. So maybe we can maybe make a note right there that means like a place far away. So let's look at the sentence. These British subjects remain loyal to the king of England and prosper from the protection of the powerful army. So these British subjects remain loyal. 
and say the main day. Okay, yeah. good. And, they, they, and prospering means like they're, do you think they're, they felt good about having that army behind them? Yeah, so they kind of felt good about it. They felt confident. They were happy about having that, that big army to protect them if they needed it. Amazing conversations. Y'all were making connections. Y'all were annotating. Y'all were figuring out words. Some of those words were tricky. Who figured out? I think that the toughest words, well, there's a few of them. But I thought now that the Patriots consider themselves enemies, their chances of remaining unscathed were small. Do you might figure that out? Yeah. So now that the Patriots, so this was um, this was during that time, the Patriots were the ones who were against King George. So now the Patriots consider the Loyalists enemies. Their chances of remaining, remaining unscathed were small. So their chances of remaining what? Not unsafe. Because that, that would be the opposite. The chances of them remaining safe were small. Do y'all get that? I know because you see unscathed and you think maybe unsafe. But the chances of them remaining safe were small now. Because there were way more patriots than loyalists. And remember, what do they do to the loyalists sometimes? Tar and feather them. Very good. And maybe burn them. So, let's go ahead and we're going to read this one together. But this one, um, you're going to be annotating it independently this time. Okay? Because remember, y'all, when it comes test time, are we going to be able to annotate with our friends? No. No, that would be cool. But we're not going to be able to do that, so we're going to get more practice. But for now, just stay where you're at. All right. Help me read. Ready? As the 13 colonies began to grow in the 1700s, changes started to occur that angered some colonies. These patriots were supporters of a new nation helped lead the formation of a new country. Here's what I want you to do right now. Y'all can go back to your own seats if you had moved. And I want you to close read this independently. Once you're done close reading, I want you to answer these questions independently because I'm going to be picking these up to see how you're doing. I'm also going to be walking around a little bit too. So go ahead and get started close reading on your own. So um, raise your hand and tell me what we just worked on today. What did we do? What did we just now do? Brayden? We learned about the 13 colonies, and what did we do with that also? You're on the right track. We did talk about the 13 colonies. Okay, we talked a little bit about the war, too. Limbrasia? We did our close reading. But remember, our skill, our skill was to what? Lily? Compare and contrast. We comp what did we compare and contrast? Raise your hand if you remember. I know Lily knows. But what did we compare and contrast just now? Who haven't heard from at all today? I've heard from pretty much everybody. Um, what do we compare and contrast? Tia. Um, the loyalists and the patriots. Very good. And the loyalists were the ones who were what, everybody? Loyalists. Loyalists. Loyal to the king. And the patriots were the ones who what? Against the king. They were against the king. They were not loyal to the king. I want you to kiss your break for doing such an awesome job working hard today. You have a deep understanding of this now. Great job. 